floating island thing looks pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna do a leap of faith right here. Let's do it. Oh! oh! <gasps> Sup, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Minecraft Nomad. <clears throat> so, I... Seriously? Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hold on. Minecraft is muted. I had to mute it earlier, and uh, <laughs> I forgot to unmute it. So, <clears throat> we are seriously just picking up right where we left off. Uh, this is a different day, true, but... Oh, and you know what? Let's get rid of this wooden pick as well. This is a different day, but I did not do anything off-camera. I say off-camera. There's really no camera. It's just... It's, it's different. Okay, it's different. So, I guess we I guess we can pick up some cobble, or maybe not. Maybe we can continue exploring. The only thing is, I don't want to just continue exploring and then die. You know what I mean? Because see, there's a creeper right there, and maybe we'll just keep that, and and uh, let's actually... There we go. Yeah, that should, that should be sufficient. So let's see. So, there really are not very many updates to share with you guys. Um, I guess we could just dig until this wooden pick breaks. Um, I have school tomorrow because this is being filmed on the 22nd of November, which is a Friday, and I have school on Saturday. And this Saturday's class is my second to last Saturday class. Yay! I think my I think my schedule for next quarter is going to be uh, oh yeah that works I think my schedule for next quarter is going to be uh, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday which would actually work out splendidly for splendidly for me maybe possibly I don't know for sure but but there's a chance. Uh, there's a better chance, actually, than this current schedule, because this current schedule is, uh, I don't know, it's, I don't like going to school Saturday morning. I, really, I mean, the day of the week doesn't matter too much to me, uh, anymore, now that I'm out of high school, but, but it's still in the morning, and I don't like waking up early, uh, when it's not up to me. Just get some of this coal. We could use it. Boom. <laughs> no. So I'm. Uh, I've been thinking about um, what type of prank video I would do if I, if I got, uh, if I got a donation of fifty dollars to my Korea fund, uh, and I might, I might do it. Even if I don't get the the fifty dollars, but if I don't get the fifty dollars, then I won't put it on YouTube. I'll just keep it show to my friends and stuff. Because uh, I think it might be really fun. But if but if you guys you know donate some fifty dollars, then <laughs> then uh, you'll get to see it too. Uh, but I've been thinking about what type of prank that I want to do, and I don't know if you've got if you guys have ever heard of this channel named Lof. It's uh, spelled L A W, or no L A H W F. Oh crap! And uh, and they make really cool videos actually. Uh, oh he, it's kind of Andrew Hales. My brother's name is Andrew, <laughs> and uh, he makes really funny prank videos. What? His prank videos like don't hurt anybody and don't usually don't make people mad or anything, uh, and they are absolutely hilarious. And I really think that I should do some of the stuff that he does in Korea, um, such as scaring people. He had on Loft Extra, he had like an extra channel, and he had this prank where he scares people. Somebody's just working on something, he just sneaks up behind him and goes. What are you working on? <laughs> it's so funny. Oh man. But but I've been watching that I and I I think I might want to do something like that while I'm in Korea. Let's see what can I do? I think I can make a chest plate. Yeah. Leather tunic. 
It's something. It's one and a half. It's it's not a lot, but it's something. Oh, oh crap! It wasn't cooking because I didn't take the crap out. Crap. 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 Yeah, let's do this. That might not even be sufficient. Let's just put these in there after the after the wood gets taken up, just in case. This might not work. Maybe. It might. The, the wood might be sufficient. Maybe. But but we don't know. We don't know until we try. And then we gotta put three pieces of coal in there. And put some of that. There we go. And then we can just wait here and I can talk to you guys in the process. So, my, uh... So yesterday, which... I don't know when the last episode is going to be up because I haven't rendered it yet, but after this I plan to start rendering it and then maybe upload it just later today, uh, which would be good. I'm trying to upload more often. Um, but yesterday I did the whole uh, livescape or livescape and I ended up getting 116% of my diet. <laughs> So that's not very good. I consumed 1,735 calories and I burned 206, uh, and that's that's not too good. 180 percent of my protein, 117 uh, percent of my carbohydrates, 112 percent of my sodium, and 108 percent of my saturated fat. 99 percent of my total fat, and uh, and that that was not very good, but. On the other hand, I this morning, well actually just today, not 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 in the morning, I uh, weighed myself and instead of weighing 155, I weighed 154. So, uh, I think I think the protein is not all that bad for me. Um, come on. Oh gosh. I hate this so much. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think the protein is all that bad for me. Come on, die! Die! Wow. Wow. Unless he's pathfinding. In which case, I'm screwed. Wait. He can't pathfind. Okay. Yeah! Die! Sweet! killed him. So, um, so far today I got 50% of my diet after breakfast and lunch, which is the same as yesterday, uh, except yesterday, uh, I ate a snack, so, uh, yesterday I ate a little bit of a snack, but also, and I also drank, uh, apple juice with all three meals. See, with this, I just drank some water, instead of apple juice. And the apple juice probably accounted for a lot of my sugar that I got yesterday. But it's good sugar because, I mean, this is all natural apple juice. Literally, you look at the ingredients and it says apple juice. And that's all it says. So, this is this is real natural, the good stuff. You know what I mean? So, that's definitely good. Um... So guys, I don't know if you want me to like seriously talk about a little bit about my personal life. Um, last time, a long, long time ago when Nomad first started and I was having the hour-long episodes, uh, originally people said, no, don't talk about your personal life. But um, my audience may have changed a little bit over time, and so uh, it, it, maybe it depends on what I'm sharing. But anyways, I will reveal this. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Thank you, Skeleton, for... Hitting me away from that creeper. But here goes. I found out recently that there is there are two Korean girls that like me. And that makes me really happy because... Like, in the United States... And this is not a criticism against the country... Uh, or the people. This is my personally personal experience. And so, so that that's a little disclaimer. disclaimer. But in the United States... Um, most of the time when I see girls, they are, most of them are just kind of okay, maybe some a little on the pretty side, but but uh, nothing super special, and then you have that one that's every now and then you see one that's just 
Oh, that's a witch. No, I'm not talking about the girl. No, <laughs> I'm actually seeing a witch in Minecraft. Every now and then you see that one that's actually just, like, really hot. Oh, I want to jump. Let's jump. Oh, thank goodness. Um, oh, crap. All right, yep, we got to get out of here right now. No. No. Get out of here. I don't I don't want to fight a witch. She's still following me. Crap. Do I have the slowness? Yes, I do. And you could sprint, but it doesn't make you go much faster. Anyways, so girls in America, you or at least in my experience, uh, ooh, let's get a wolf. We don't have any bones. Crap. Uh, girls in America, I just, uh, again, my personal experience, but you see a bunch of them that are just okay, and then, and then every now and then you find that one that's actually really hot. However, Korean girls, from what I've seen of Korean girls, it's flipped, meaning most of the time, and it, and it's also could be, it could have to do with just my preference, but, but in my experience, it's flipped. So you see girls, and most of the time, you just see girls that are just smoking hot. And then every now and there, every now and then there's the exception where one is like, okay, um, or or even some. I I will admit there are ugly Korean people, <laughs> but there are ugly people all over the world. And when I say ugly, there is no. I I'm acknowledging there is no predetermined definition of ugly. It has to do with preference. Uh, so just as beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as I have just said, uh, ugly is or ugliness is also in the eye of the beholder. So, anyway, so, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. There are, there are ugly people all over the place. And I'm talking about physically ugly. I'm not talking about emotionally ugly. I have to say that because there are some people that are just, just a stickler for the kind of stuff. They don't, they just, no matter what you say. <laughs> Anyways, so, my point is, let me, let me just, moving on, um, yeah, both of these girls, okay, I found out that they liked me, and they are two of the normal, meaning they are two incredibly just smoking hot girls, and they like me, and I was like, I was like, wow, seriously? Because in America, you would not have that kind of luck. I mean, just a guy like me, just average looking guy, uh, I, I don't consider myself to be ugly, but I don't consider myself to be attractive. I consider myself just to be kind of average. And... So in America, I would not have that kind of luck. If some, if a hot girl liked me, I mean that, like, what are the chances? Are you kidding me? Like, what, a one percent of one percent, like point zero one percent, like, seriously, uh, that that's insane. But in Korea, I got two, like what? Holy crap! And some, some uh, Korean girls judge. Uh, looks solely based on race, and some it's like some girls in Korea just uh, just think white men are just attractive, and so they they'll like somebody and, and want to go out with that person just because they're white. So don't get me wrong, it's not just saying uh, not just saying that Korean girls are just perfect, um, but I but I will say that that's it, it's completely out of the ordinary for me. Have some peop two people that I think are very physically attractive, and and they like me, and they seem to have really good personalities from what I know about them. Uh, I won't say their names just in case they ever watch this video, but <laughs> I will say that it makes me really happy, and I'm I'm always happy to talk. Oh, sweet! A dungeon. It's a spider dungeon. Okay, don't spawn. Don't spawn. Got it. Just just in case. What's in this? Iron? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, bread, gunpowder, name tag. I will take that. And a bucket. Yeah, I, I, I can deal with a bucket. And actually, we're going to break the spawner because why not? I mean... Well, you don't get experience for that? Or do you? Did I just not notice? Anyways. Yeah, so... and. In regards to my personal life, I I found out that two Korean girls like me and actually want to go out with me, and that that makes me very very happy. Um, because I have a lot of Korean friends, but uh, but 
some just aren't looking for a boyfriend. Some are only looking for a boy. Oop. Some are only looking for a boyfriend if if that boy already lives in Seoul or or wherever they live in Korea. And some of them already have a boyfriend, which also puts them in the first category of not looking for a boyfriend. So, <laughs> um, so to to find two that actually don't have a boyfriend and want me as a boyfriend, that's, I mean, that just feels great. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at that. I wonder if I can... Yep, that completely ruined it. I wonder if I can place one right here. Yeah, yeah, that completely ruins it. I don't care. And look at that. There's snow over here. Or wait, is it? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. I like that a lot. I hope we get out of snow bi out of this snow biome soon. Wow, we've been recording for already 15 minutes. About somewhere around there. That's insane. Um so I've okay, in regards to Democracy 3, Last night, I tried and tried and tried to fix my mod, and I tried everything. I, the, the process is clearly laid out for, uh, for everyone that, that wants to make a mod. They say it's so easy, you just gotta do these specific things. And so, I did those specific things, and I even tried some other things that seemed like they could work. And, uh, and they didn't work. And I really, honestly, have no idea why. I'm having a lot of trouble with it. Um, there's a topic about it on the... The company's called Positech. They're the same, same developers of gratuitous space battles, gratuitous tank battles. Democracy 2, ironically enough. <laughs> um... And on their forums, they have a section for support, and I actually have a topic there. So if if any of you want to know more about your problem, think you have a solution for me, you can read about my topic there. You don't have to answer on the forum. You could just message me or something. Um, sorry, I just got a text um, from a classmate. Uh, it's going to have to wait. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, if you want to know more about my problem, if you think you, you might have a solution, then, then feel free to message me on on uh, YouTube or or write it in a comment to this video or something like that. But I, I really would not like to make a video about, this is really cool, uh, Democracy 3 until I get my mod fixed. Because the mod, um, I think I think it's actually very economically realistic, at least compared to the vanilla version of the game, and also in my mod, I, uh, well, this isn't actually in the mod, so I actually, this was one of the few, actually, the only successful change I was able to make to the game without it crashing, and that's, I added the Libertarian Party, because for some reason they don't have it. They have weird parties that I've never even heard of, but they don't have the Libertarian Party, which is a real party. And I, I, I don't know, maybe those other parties are real too, but the Libertarian Party is the third largest, so I feel like they should have it. <laughs> but I added that, so when if, if, if and when I make a video about Democracy 3, I will be playing as a Libertarian Party. There's a pumpkin. Ah, <sighs> okay. So we're going to have to make another hidey hole, I guess. Um, I haven't been finding... I haven't found a single sheep. And that's, it's beginning to worry me, because I don't want to have to just go inside every time. Um, let's see. Just do this, I'll get rid of all my sticks. It's beginning to worry me, because I don't, I don't want to go inside every time it turns nighttime. I want to actually be able to explore still. We're nomads, we don't like to bunk up for the night. Well, well, we would be doing that with a bed, but we don't like to go inside. We like to keep exploring outside, so... It gives us a little time to give to get some iron, I guess. Do I have any iron ore? Yes, I do. And I, and I can cook it right now. I can also get rid of a lot of this cobble, probably. Actually, definitely, because I got so much. 
Uh, here it is. Uh, and this gravel as well. Get rid of the gravel. How many stacks of cobble do I have? I have a lot. One, two, three, four. Leaves me with three stacks. Okay with that. Already almost done. Okay, so. What was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. I can't remember. So, I. I ate lunch today. My lunch today was uh, Campbell's clam chowder, New England clam chowder, chunky, and that that's a little different from the normal, normal stuff. Um, but I've noticed that they've been putting less and less clams <laughs> in the soup, which I really hate because I love the clams and they're putting less and less, and I can understand why, but I still don't like it. So. Uh, Oh my gosh, why, did, why does Percy keep contacting me? Quit quit testing me. Te testing me? Yes, quit testing me and quit texting me. Because when you text me, it tests me. Especially while I'm recording. Uh, oh gosh, alright. Okay, so keep digging. Um, I think we're missing Nicholas Mars. This is source for part four in the. Okay. Um, sorry, it's, it's school stuff. Um,. Which I know I shouldn't. I shouldn't even be reading it because for this class it's for next Wednesday. Poop head. You know what? Here's the best way to take care of snowballs. Throw it into the lava. Yeah. Uh, this isn't working out too well. You know what? Did I already pick up my furnace? No, I didn't. Let's pick up that furnace. See, um, so yeah, I was, I was actually very, very happy today to find out that I actually have two, well, I actually found out about one, um, say two days ago, yeah, yeah, Wednesday night, which was the 20th, Wednesday night, I found out that one of them liked me. She went to the bathroom and her friends kind of told me, so, <laughs> oh, crap, I, I think if she's watching now, then she probably knows who she is now. But, <clears throat> but that—that's when I found out. Yeah, her friends told me, and uh, and then the other one I found out today, because uh, they were—they were gonna go to sleep soon, I guess. And uh, what did they say? They, they sent me a video where they were like, the one was like, "I love you, Alex," and I was like. But by the way, if you don't know my real name, my real name's Alex. <laughs> um, but like, uh, let me see. They, they, I, I love you, Alex. Which, just basically just saying I love you, Alex, with Korean pronunciation. Ah, oh, I got the achievement getting wood. Great. We need to get to high ground seriously because. I, I don't I don't like being in this closed space. You know what? Uh, let's use the remainder of our dirt. Anyway, so yeah, I got I got a few short videos, like 15 second videos. They were just messing around, just and it was nice because I know they like me and and they they certainly do act like it and and I I like it so <laughs> um, feels good. But I mean, I nothing can really happen at the moment because I'm not in Korea. I'm in the United States, but Florida. So, but maybe, you know, maybe, maybe. Oh crap! Die! You die! Yeah, uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing can really happen at the moment. But w maybe when we meet in Korea, because we do have plans to meet when we when I go to Korea with Steven. So, and I'm thinking about doing the video. Thanks, people. Um, I'm thinking about doing that with this one of these friends that likes me. So, or that apparently likes me. I'll say. I thought that was like stone. I was like, I was like, what? But it's just, it's just a cloud. Cause we're at cloud level, and look how much higher we still have to go. Which I like. I like this about the amplified worlds. Ugh. Oh crap. Okay, die, 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 die. 
Oh my gosh, Creeper City over here. I like Circuit City. I don't know why I'm going to think of that. But... <laughs> I heard the explosion and I heard Mmm. I'm a cow. Where's a cow? Is that a zombie? I feel like, yeah, that looks like a zombie. I don't know where that cow came from, but I don't want to go down. I want to go up. Oh, look, here, here's where the cow came from. And here's here's a zombie. I don't like the new zombie pathfinding. Oh, look, he's carrying some steak. Did he kill that chicken? Oh, crap. I gotta eat. Checkers. <laughs> Stop it! Okay, die. Okay, what else? Um, food. That's what I was gonna get. Uh, what can I eat? Chicken. Chicken's good. Um. But yeah, these are these are turning out to be very good friends that I have in Korea, and uh, and most cases, not all cases, but most cases. <clears throat> Much better friends than I've ever developed in the United States. Wow, that looks so awesome. Um, like, these friends are actually people that want to do stuff with me. Like, go go out and see movies and and go out to lunch and, and just, I don't know, hang out. And my, my American peeps don't want to do that stuff with me. Anytime I offer to do that, they're like, no, I gotta do this, or I gotta do that, or whatever. There's always an excuse. And then they, they go, when they go out and do something, they don't invite me. So it's, it's not like, hey, most, most of the time I don't think their <coughs> excuses are really that genuine. Sometimes they are, but, uh, but for some reason, they, they just, they act that way towards me. I have no idea, but my, I have no idea why, but my Korean peeps, uh, actually want to do stuff with me. And, you know, they they talk about what we'll do when I go to Korea. They'll they'll take me to these restaurants and and we'll just hang out and they'll introduce me to new people and stuff. I I really like it. It's I feel like it's the feeling I should be getting over here, but I'm not. And so I don't know. It's it's kind of a shame that I have to go to a, a country all the way across the world to actually uh, feel true friendship. Uh, b besides besides a couple of my friends over here that actually are good friends, but they all live far away from me. Um, <clears throat> as in, one of them is in college, at, uh, like on the other end of the state, so we can't really see each other. We still talk to each other, but... Uh, and then one of them's in uh, Marine Reserves, so he's he's in training right now. That's, that's Steven. That's the one that's going with me to Korea. Uh, two of them live in, out of state, so... So that really stinks. It's it's a shame that I have to go all the way to Korea to feel something like this, but but got to do what you got to do. And I might be able to do so. I might be able to feel something similar if it if I just went to a different part of the United States. Maybe just my town is just screwed up, <laughs> which I would actually believe uh, because a lot of people say this town is screwed up. But. Uh, I don't know. It's another thing is just the uh, exotic uh, nature of Korea is is really awesome. I really enjoy it. Okay, what can I get rid of? Yeah, these three dirt blocks. Burt lo Burt blocks. <laughs> Blurt docks. That's kind of cool. Oh, I never picked up any bones. Are you kidding me? Kind of wanted to tame a wolf. That would help with protection as well. Wow. Yeah. Good. Lots of lots of pig. And we're almost near the. Er, we're almost at the end of the episode. But you know, you know, I always, uh, I always, uh, what's it called? I always wait until nighttime. So, so you guys have until until nighttime. Um, let's see, I uh, don't really have anything much much else to report. I have, I have homework about every day uh, from or for the next week or so. I have homework. <laughs> Which sucks. I mean, I went, I went so long just having the bare minimum of homework. Now I have. Oh, what? What? Okay, wait. I have to see this. I have to see this. If that's packed ice, we're getting it. Th yeah, that's got to be packed ice. 
And I gotta see what biome this is as well. That looks so cool. It's like a waterfall and an ice fall and what in the world? This is so epic. What are, what what can we call this? Yeah, that's packed ice. Can I collect? Oh, are you kidding me? You need silk touch? Ah, uh, I wish, but it doesn't melt. That's so cool. That's really cool. I don't know. Um, teardrops of the teardrops of the brokenhearted. Yeah, because they look like kind of teardrop tears falling down, collecting. The heck is that? Oh, okay. Thought that was. There's an Enderman. I don't. I don't want to mess with him. Okay, there's a zombie that's following me. I want to try and get out of dodge as quickly as possible. That's really cool. You got packed ice and regular ice. That's. This is really. Re what the lava fall? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's get a bucket of water actually. This will help with traveling. There we go. And then that'll all freeze over. Or should we call this just the Icy Wasteland? It seems like kind of a cool name. And it looks accurate. It looks looks like an Icy Wasteland, apart from that taiga over there in the distance. What is this called? Ice Plains? Wait. Ice Plains Spikes. Interesting. Okay, so so ice plain ice plains is kind of like the tundra, how the tundra used to be. I don't know if they still have the tundra. Maybe they just changed it. Uh, but this this so ice plains maybe is is kind of like the tundra where there's not any trees or very few trees. Oh come on. Ah, uh, what what is this? What is this garbage? Oh, you know what? I bet there was a block of ice underneath that block of snow. Yeah, I bet that I bet that was a problem. <clears throat> this is very interesting. What? Oh my gosh, this place is phenomenal. Okay, uh water. Yes, and There we go. Oh gosh. This is not good. This is not good at all. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Cobblestone. Not quite. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't work out too well. <sighs> so nighttime will be upon us shortly. I like how fast you go on this ice. It's really cool. Whoa, hold on a second. Is this sand? No, it's dirt. Okay, so it's the difference between having dirt and water underneath. Alright. Got it. <laughs> see. I again I I really don't have much to report. Um I feel like I should play another game. Uh maybe maybe so I can just have something else to record and that way if I don't have uh lots to talk about in my Nomad series I can just have a game where all I'm doing is talking about the game. Like where uh, it requires constant commentary about the game. Because Minecraft, just exploring, doesn't require too much commentary about just the game. So, uh, so if I don't have much to report on my personal life, then it, uh, then it, it might suffer a little bit. So, oh, a little lag. Come on, got it. And click. Lag from the world generating. It's fine. Do I have... I only have three leather. I was going to make some boots. Um, but yeah, um, like I was saying, maybe maybe I might want to make a uh, Democracy 3 series, mini-series, but, um, but again, I, I have to get my mod working. I would like to get that working as soon as possible and hopefully get a series going as soon as possible. Because I think it would be really cool to show you guys the game. It's it's a very very fun game, uh, and if it weren't for the economic uh, inaccuracies of it, I think that it w it would be a lot more fun, and that's why I want to mod it. Uh, what else can I can I play? I I could play uh, Civilization Five. Uh, that's because I got I got all the expansions for it except for the new Scrambled Continents. Because I don't I don't like map packs. It's just 
and that's that's not very interesting to me but uh, but I I do have uh, everything else Brave New World Gods and Kings the wonders of the ancient world and I don't do scenarios but I have them I have all the civilizations Korea of course which is why I always play as before Korea I used to play as the United States all the time uh, although the United States advantage, I really don't think it's very good. The, really, the, the only good things about it were uh, the Minuteman and the uh, the B-17. Like as in the the Manifest Destiny bullcrap. That was not that was not good. Felt a little un underpowered because okay so you get you get 50% discount with purchasing tiles like for me that's never a problem because tiles are what 30 gold each normally maybe 20 in some cases if it's like a not a very good piece of land um I'm not picking up any of this dirt in my crap and so okay so you're going to get um really cheap tiles how often do I actually buy tiles almost never to be honest if I'm being completely honest I almost never buy tiles so that that is stupid for me I did like the land units having plus one site because that actually did help um, but it wasn't all that big of an advantage and I, I really felt like the advantage for the United States was underpowered okay we might die here let's try it let's go for it oh come on oh, I'm gonna die I'm gonna die oh I didn't die I barely escaped death. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. We're running a little long. But that's okay because we were just waiting for night time. Oh my gosh. That was insane. I, I My heart started beating. I was like, are we going to have to start over yet again? Oh man. That was insane. Because I don't want to start over. We still don't have any wool though. And so it's... It's fine. If we died, we would just return to spawn anyway. So there would be absolutely no chance of getting our stuff back. Uh, let's see. I don't want to go across an ocean. We avoided that in the original. Okay, see, that looks nothing like a beach. <laughs> that seriously looks nothing like a beach. <sighs> so, um... See, so again, the app that I'm using to track my fitness, track my health, how much weight I'm gaining and losing, and uh, how much fat and calories and potassium and protein and all that good stuff I'm getting, is called Livescape or Livescape. I can't figure out how to pronounce it. Uh, it's for Windows Phone. I'm sure there's an alternative on a uh, altern alternate on iPhone and Android, and uh, yeah, if you if you want something like that, that's what it's called, and it's very useful for me. I actually bought the app for five dollars today, and that will allow me to just simply take a picture of the nutrition facts for a new a new item of food or drink that I'm getting, eating uh, or consuming, I should say, uh, and it'll also allow me to share my results to Facebook and Twitter so that um, I'm, it, it actually is pretty useful because um, it allows you to kind of stick with your commitment. If you make a commitment to do something, when you make it public, it actually actually makes it more likely that you will um, succeed and you'll actually stick to it. So. Uh, I yawn. Um, I'm stretching. <laughs> so anyways, guys, um, if you like this episode and if you like my videos, please feel free to drop me a donation from my Korea trip. Links in the description. Every donation is appreciated. And, uh, and uh, I, think, I think that's it. So thank you for watching YouTube, and I will see you next time.